Hey guys, what is up? It's Total Eclipse here and today we have a new video on the logic gates and using them with uh, other things such as the archway. This is actually an extension of the archway uh, video. It's how it became. This is my new base that I've been working on. We're still developing it, but I wanted to show you uh, this. So this is what we're doing. We're, we're building it. Uh, here we've built using the same process as we have for the logic gates, which is coming up, a uh, crowd control archway uh, decontamination unit. So for this, we're going to need, first of all, a, not a bed, we're going to need a wall of some description. We're just gonna do a very quick one. Is that gonna snap for us? Yes. And we're going to need an XOR gate. So the XOR gate that we use, Let's go up to it. I don't think it's that one. Uh, the NAND. Yes, pretty sure it's that one. The NAND XOR gate. So what that's going to do is allow us to transmit power um, providing it uh, all the, all the connections have power. So we're also going to need to connect right now um, a generator. Sorry, I haven't done this for a while. I always end up having like two weeks before I play this game again to uh, expand on this. And find I lose everything. And we are going to need, let's go to miscellaneous. Manufacturing. No, come on, show me. Here we are. We're going to do it with the decontamination arches. This is just going to be a rough um, guide, but I will also add. We could add some other electronics, can't we? If we add one of these, you can get an idea of how you can use it as well for a factory purpose. And. Suppose we could do it with lights actually. Although I'd only be able to show you the lights in darkness. Let's get some big ones. Let's hope these work. Or oh. not quite yet, but let's see. Now for lights, you do need a, um, a radiating conduit. So we'll place that there. And then, oh, we've forgotten one important thing. Well, many important things, but before I forget is what I'm getting at. We need to connect these up. And we need to actually connect you quickly here. Oh God, we need to. There we are. Make sure that's turned on. Otherwise it will confuse you later on. Like it is. There we are. Now next, the important part of this is we're going to go to the manufacturing and we're going to go to uh, miscellaneous. No, we're not. That's a lie. We're going to go to conveyor belts. They have some tripwires. So as you can see, they're meant for conveyor belts so that you can change the, the location where they're going, but they actually work incredibly well. For anything else, <laughs> providing you walk over them. Just 
trying to think. Is this going to be right? Nope, it's not. I think. So here we are, basically you need to connect these power um, tripwires, laser tripwires, to the power generator and then, can we move that just out of the way, try and separate it. So as you can see here we've got both of them connected to a power generator and here we connect them both to the NAND logic gate. Now when we pass through it will activate the archway then once we leave the archway, it will switch off as well. Brilliant if you're just wanting to uh, not worry about switching on and off the button or resetting the switches like I mentioned you'd have to do in the previous video. Now what you can also use this for is, let's see if it works. Let's get rid of you. And this time, what we can do with moving you over here. Now, as you can see, these lights aren't working, but when I connect it, typical. Let's see if we can do it here. Now, in theory, when I walk in, The light should work. Ta da! So imagine walking into a, a factory and then suddenly all the lights come on when you walk in. And what you can also do is if we're just going to switch them off. There we are. We can also have it so that we connect the factory. And this will probably be what I'm next working on, I should imagine. Is that a powered factory? So when we walk in, you switch these on, and as you can see, on comes the conveyor belt. And then once you leave, everything can switch off. Uh, you don't actually need to use two power no, two power cables for this as, in theory, there we go, providing you have a doorway because otherwise you're going to keep missing that, um, you only need to connect one and uh, you also need to power connecting. So as you can see, walk in and the power is on, walk out and it all switches off. Um, but as uh, I mentioned then, with this you do need two power inputs. So you're going to need to connect the generator to the and uh, NAND gate as well. So there you are guys, that was just a very quick video in how to use an XOR gate to really uh, mechanize your factories or also to help with um, crowd control. So if I take you back to here, I wanted it so that not only did we have an, uh, a place where everyone had to enter through the decontamination port, great for your underground settlements and um, vault dweller settlements so that no one gets infected or um, hurt by radiation spread by other people, but I wanted an easy defendable location. And as you can see, everyone's going to have to run up this hill. It's a bit like a, a mini mot from a castle and be forced into this area where only one person can come out at any one point. It's all timed together, which is great. Not timed together, but connected. And then I was, well, I've got it so that my actual, um, 
what's going to be my armory is right by the front door so it can be quite easily defended but I'm still working on this place as well I will do a video on it if you want to see it once it's complete as you can see we've got a, a long way to go but there you go guys I hope you enjoyed if you did please leave a like if you want to see more don't forget to subscribe and if you do have any questions I'm more than happy to help you out if you're having a problem I'll try to best uh, understand what your problem is uh, sometimes it's difficult through typing but if you can post a video I'm more than happy to have a look at it as well I may not be perfect but certainly how the hell did that happen how the hell did that happen that's not right I think that must just be far too close to the radiator that's using these or maybe it's this actually yeah there's a radiator in here <laughs> But anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.